water. It can sustain life. It can also take it away. In the years since a major quake and tsunami struck Indonesia, the American Red Cross has been there, rebuilding lives, strengthening communities, ensuring people are more prepared for whatever tomorrow brings. That's the kind of work Red Cross does every day around the world. In Indonesia, it starts with planting trees. We planted casuarina trees here to reduce the impact of soil erosion and wind in the residential areas. The roots of the casuarinas can also restore the soil structure in the water. These casuarina trees offer more than environmental progress. They'll help restore what was lost and hopefully point to a brighter future. In Sumatra's Aceh province, mangrove plantings help control water flow improve air and water quality, and bring back a way of life that washed away with the tsunami's last waves. Mangroves will also restore the ecosystem and coastal vegetation, and eventually attract the return of crabs, shrimp, and birds. When the high water comes, feet instinctively head for higher ground. These evacuation stairs, built into the sides of steep hills, make it easier for more people to be safer faster. After an earthquake in 2011, the villagers immediately went to the stairs to get to higher ground. And it's the community that gets to decide where those stairs and shelters should be built. We made a plan for an evacuation point up on the hills, and this is the sketch of what we're planning to build. In villages across Indonesia, evacuation drills are staged to make sure heeding warnings and seeking safe ground is second nature to the men, women, and children who live so close to the sea. Banda Aceh knows the worst. This city of a quarter of a million people was among the hardest hit from the 2004 tsunami. Today, it's back to being a thriving city, with its central market revitalized and rebuilt by the American Red Cross as its hub. By having these improved facilities, then all the market activities are being centralized here, and um, it's now being uh, well managed, well coordinated, and less crowded than what we had before the tsunami happened. Meanwhile, on a quieter street, volunteers trained by Red Cross make house calls to ensure women and children are getting care and guidance to take care of their family's health needs. This woman's name is Puspawati, and for her, a dripping faucet over a home cistern is proof her life is better. I used to get up at four in the morning and wait in a long line for my water. Now I feel safer. The past may be why we came, but for the men, women, and children of Indonesia, their tomorrows are why we're still here. <laughs>